It is now my pleasure to introduce our second keynote speaker of the night. The class of 2013 has chosen a member of the MHS faculty, who has been one of their most influential teachers, to address them this evening. It is with great pleasure that I bring history teacher, Mr. Jake Stafford, to the podium. I would like to take the time to thank the school board, administration, my colleagues, parents, students, and the class of 2013. I really appreciate you guys allowing me to speak today. Uh, my name is Mr. Jake Stafford, and as most of your uh, children know me, they typically call me Staff. And if you are on Twitter, you may know me as Papacito. <laughs> I would like to congratulate Dr. Lux on his retirement. He has taught me so much about what it means to be an educator. Go ahead and clap for him. <laughs> what you guys need to understand is that in every decision this man has made, he always did what was best for students, and especially the students at Maryville. At a time where public education is under attack by our public officials, Dr. Lux never lost sight of what was important, and that was all of you here sitting with us tonight. <laughs> Dr. Lux, thank you for being a mentor and a friend these past seven years while I was at Maryville. I am certain that Dr. Sperling will do an exceptional job continuing the vision and success of Maryville Schools. And Doc Sperling, let me be the first one to offer, if you need your car washed, your lawn mowed, or your leaves raked, I'm sure Mr. Crutz would be more than willing to help you. <laughs> I wanted to make special mention of a young lady uh, who is gone but never forgotten. Denisha Johnson was taken from the Pirate family this past October. She is a member of the class of 2013. Please know that she is with you all in spirit and smiling down upon you today. The memory of her smiling face and positive attitude will forever be a reminder that only the good die young and our time on earth is truly all borrowed time. And now the class of 2013! I got one more test for you. One more test, sorry. Now my football guys, you know what's coming because at this point I'd ask you to put your helmets down. Can you give me three claps if you're ready to graduate? Three claps. Three claps. You all passed, congratulations. What an exciting time in your life. Know that it is not the end, but only the beginning. For what it's worth, I am so very proud of all of you. You all entered Maryville as freshmen into a new program, a new building, and a new beginning. The freshman wing was created to improve the transition from middle school to high school, and research has shown that freshman year is the most important year in a student's life. In the summer of 2009, Mrs. Kovach assembled the brightest, youngest, and best-looking teachers to take on the challenge of the new freshman program. I want you all to realize that Mr. Sonnenberg no longer teaches in the freshman wing. <laughs> Going into that school year, we did not know what to expect. I'm here to let you know that the class of 2013 exceeded expectations. Through your leadership and hard work, you are leaving Maryville better than when you found it. Yes, even you, Charles Pyatt. <laughs> In preparation of my speech, I actually contacted China, and I had them change the year 2013 from the year of the snake to the year of the pirate. 
Look at all of you've accomplished. We won sectionals in football, boys and girls basketball, and wrestling. And three of those sports won the Doolin Conference. Sorry, Coach Maldonado. <laughs> we even had a state champ in bowling. Great job, Carly Larson. Our music department won several gold medals in state competition. The Key Club raised thousands of dollars for several charities. Maryville received a national award for the Coalition of Schools Educating Boys of Color. Graduation rates and test scores continue to rise. Maryville was named a model school by the International Center for Leadership. We received an A letter from the Department of Education two years in a row. And you guys might not know this, but our own Mr. Crutz was named Principal of the Year, District 1 this year. So class of 2013, way to represent the purple and white. Now, this is where I got confused as to where to go from here. I figured I could go two ways. I could tell some funny stories about the graduates, like the time I was playing basketball in the field house, and I cross over Darian Patton, and I broke her ankle. <laughs> or I could talk about Bradley Brayfield, and how I'll never forget him driving the golf cart right into Coach Bedwell's truck at the football stadium. <laughs> Guys, I always knew when I had her in class that Emma Harper was smarter than me, even as a freshman. I don't know what I'm going to do next year when Jessica Vasquez doesn't steal my calendar and writes her mom's birthday on it. <laughs> I no longer get to pick on Diana Archivala for being so short you can actually see her feet in her license picture. Jake Raspopovich will forever be known to me as the sophomore superstar. I'll still always wonder how Emma Bice and Kara Phillips took five periods of PNN this last semester. <laughs> and I think uh, my, one of my favorite memories is the dance-offs I used to have with Eric Blackman uh, in class. Uh, and I want you all to know he never beat me. But I'm not going that route. What I want to sit here and tell you is that just 13 years ago, I was sitting where you guys were. And I remember what I was thinking. Turn up! <laughs> but in all seriousness, I was feeling excited, nervous, and a little scared about my future. What I want to do today, guys, is share seven pieces of advice with you I've learned along the way. And don't worry, they're short. And hopefully it will help you in your journey called life. And you guys got to understand, I'm still learning as well. Number one, your time having fun is well spent. The time you take playing sports, being in band, drama club, yearbook, or just having fun with friends is worth it. It's been proven that happiness and well-being are linked to meaningful connections to other human beings. Number two, happiness is sometimes a matter of subtraction and not addition. Consider what would happen if you stopped blaming. Stop blaming people for your problems. Take responsibility when things, when things go wrong isn't easy, but it is empowering. Because then you focus on doing things better and smarter the next time. And when you do things better and smarter, you tend to be happier. Number three, do not make the world worse. I know I'm, I'm supposed to stand up here and tell you guys to do great things, but I'm really going to lower the bar here. <laughs> do not use your talents to mess things up. Too many smart people are already doing that. Everyone, can tell you, everyone will tell you that you can change the world, and you can, but just remember, changing the world has negative effects as well. I'm not asking you to cure cancer, I'm just asking you not to spread it. Number four, marry someone smarter than you. And if you can help it, better looking. Just ask Coach Wells.
I'll probably be fired now. <laughs> I have been so blessed to have such an amazing wife. I really don't know what I'd do in this world without her. I'd probably still be mixing my lights with my darks in the laundry and spending all my money on movies and comic books. Trust me, you will do better in life with a second oar in the water. All right, this one might give me some grief, but number five, your parents don't want what's best for you. Now, like I said, I'm sure I'm being misunderstood, but your parents want what is good for you. They're not the same thing. Parents have a natural instinct to protect their children from risk. Therefore, they urge safe choices. Trust me, I'm in my 30s and my mother still does this. Theodore Roosevelt stated, it is hard to fail, but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. Now, for those of you who had Mr. Naki for U.S. history, Theodore Roosevelt was a soldier, an explorer, and a president. He was a great historical figure, but I'm willing to guess that Teddy's mom wanted him to be a doctor. Number six, don't model your life after circus animals. Performing animals do tricks because their trainers throw peanuts at them. You should want more for yourself. You'll be a friend, a parent, a coach, and an employee. Your job is probably the one place where you'll be evaluated and rewarded for your performance. Don't let life's decisions be distorted by the fact that your boss is the only one tossing you peanuts. Spend time with your friends and family. Travel and see the world. Sing and dance. Enjoy all that life has to offer. And my last bit of advice. When you say, I don't know what to do, the vast majority of the time is you actually do know what to do, you just don't like the answer. Your life, go ahead. Your life's going to be filled with choices. Some of them easy, some of them very hard. There will be times where you have to make decisions based on what makes you happy. Don't see that as selfish. The people who love you will understand. Remember, you'll know true love on the outside when you know true love on the inside. Those decisions may cause you to change directions. Stay calm. Remember, if you want the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain. Now, there's a saying I recite to the football team before every Friday night. I got it from the team chaplain at Georgia Tech University, and he actually picked it up from a boxing gym in Atlanta, Georgia. It goes, we're going to fight till we can't fight no more. Then we're going to lay down, we're going to bleed a while. We're going to get back up, and we're going to fight some more. Let this be your motto. Now, I'm by no means asking you to be violent. I'm not going to be the first graduation speaker that started a riot. <laughs> but what this saying does, it gives you the, the, the motivation to never quit. And if you feel like quitting, Get right back up and keep going. Class of 2013 is very near and dear to my heart. I know that I wasn't able to teach all of you, but not everyone can take AP Geography. <laughs> in closing, there comes a time in life when you walk away from all the drama and the people who create it. Surround yourself with people who make you laugh, forget the bad, and focus on the good. Love the people who treat you right. Pray for the ones who don't. Life is too short to be anything but happy. Falling down is part of life. Getting back up is living. Once again, congrats, class of 2013, and God bless. <laughs>